Do y'all hear little puppies? I hear little puppies. I think, oh gosh, hold on. I think Elena has had her puppies. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. Well, I'm walking out here towards the chickens and, huh. I wonder what's doing that. If it's one of our dogs or if it's a critter. Yeah, it's gotta be one of our dogs. So anyway, I'm walking out here towards uh, the chickens because that's what I was going to do a video on today is cleaning out this uh, chicken house, putting new uh, bedding down for them and new uh, chips, basically. But we had a pretty good storm last night. Not a whole lot of rain, but a lot of wind and a lot of lightning. It was really crazy looking. Um, but we noticed this morning that pancake's missing. We cannot find pancake. Um, so we're going to have to go look for him. We did notice that the gate was blown open. Uh, Toro's still in the pasture, but Pancake is not. So we're going to have to go find Pancake. He's got to be around here somewhere. Um, he's not on our property. My mom drove up and down our main road right here. We're going to go look for him. We're going to go uh, up and down the road. I'm going to go south and north and the, the main road's there. Um, we're actually between a two-mile stretch where there's stop signs two miles apart from each other. And we're right in the middle. So a mile each direction, then we're gonna go east and west a little bit too and look for them. But all the goats stayed in. Come here, goats. Goaty goats. Well, come here. Y'all want out? Yeah, let's go let the goats out. Uh, there's not a whole lot for them to eat right here. And I haven't moved their, today's my first day off, by the way. I haven't moved their uh, fence over. So I'm still gonna let them out today. Come on, girls. Come on. Are y'all hungry? Yeah, there's plenty for y'all to eat right there. There's a lot of green grass right in there. Okay, so we are, like I said, we are gonna go look for, uh, we'll bring you guys along with us. I, I think I'm just gonna make a video out of it. Hopefully I find him. I should be able to find him. Uh, we have really good neighbors. Um, a neighbor, most of the neighbors up and down this road would just let him on the property, put him up, and wait for someone to come claim him. You hungry? Mm -hmm. Oreo's like, get back, I'm first. Well, hello. Hi, Ginger. Hi. So what I'm going to do is just drive up and down the road, see if I can find him first. Uh, and then start looking, um, and then start knocking on doors, seeing if anyone has him. If someone has him, I'll come back, get the truck and the trailer, and then go get him. I don't necessarily want to take the truck and trailer because I really don't know if I'm going to find him. Okay, are y'all ready? Oh, y'all are violent. So look at this, Oreo, Oreo's very first baby, Ginger. Ginger's very first baby, Samoa. Uh, Oreo had a couple of boys, and then last year, two years ago, she had Kara, Caramel, and then this last year, she had twins, but she lost them both. So, three different generations of babies there for Oreo, and then York, y'all know York is Ginger's baby. Let's see here. Coconut is Samoa's baby. So, Coconut right here is Samoa's baby. And believe it or not, Coconut is actually Megatron's baby. I have no idea where she's getting all that black. I guess from her grandma, Oreo. All right, let's let him out. You ducks better move. They're gonna run all over you. Y'all got back up. It's like they know where they're going. Yeah. They always go over towards the end of the barn over there. They think there's feed. That wasn't very exciting, was it? They didn't run over y'all.
And of course, I've got some that are not wanting to get out. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's over here. It's this side. I really don't want them to test the fence. Oh, she's gonna jump. Oh, she backed up like she wanted to jump. Trixie did. Oh yeah, she's backing up like she wants to jump. There she goes, she's backing up. Oh, she did it! <laughs> Crazy goat. Don't teach them, Trixie. All right, I'm gonna go push them back this way and make them come out, because I really don't want them all to jump. I don't even want them to know they can do that. <laughs> By the way, this little thing I came up with is working out really well. I'm using these lock jaws as the hinges. You can see how the how it's just in there. It's actually working really, really well. And the goats, the goats have, had, have been beaten up on that fence, and they haven't made it come off. Pretty good. So I might as well show you all this real quick. I have moved all the chickens over here, all the white chickens, into into the barn coop, the large barn coop. This barn coop can hold a lot of chickens in it. Uh, I was actually, this is what my video was gonna be about today, was these chicks and then cleaning out the uh, chicken coop over there and the chicken run. As a matter of fact, I told Tanya's mom that that would be my next video, but. Do y'all hear little puppies? I hear little puppies. I think, oh gosh, hold on. I think Elena has had her puppies. Unless that's chickens making that sound. Let me, let me, hold on. This is crazy. This video's getting, getting a little crazier and crazier. I swear I hear little puppies. I really do. But we haven't been able to find Yelena today. Y'all hear that? You know what? I'm gonna leave that door alone. I'm gonna go in through the other door. I do hear puppies. I hear little puppies. I think Elena just had her puppies last night. She she was still pregnant last night. Uh, Brennan put her in the barn because she keeps getting out, like looking for a place to have her puppies, like a, a safe place. She doesn't want to have them out there with the goats for some reason. They're way over there. Yelena. Connie's calling for me. Huh? I think the puppies. Yeah. So I hear puppies right over here in this corner. I bet Yelena's over there. She just doesn't want to leave them. She's over here in this corner. Good. No, you stay there, girl. Stay there. You stay there. Do y'all hear that? Y'all hear it? Good girl, Yelena. Yeah, watch that spider. <laughs> That's why I came through the other door. So I was looking on the, I was checking on the chickens she needs over there. and I can hear them. This is her safe spot. Probably, this is probably what she's been looking for this whole time. How many did you have, girl? You had a bunch. There's one behind you, girl. Better face. 
face first. Like, let her know you're okay. Oh, look at all those babies. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. Oh, Oh my god, honey, they're so cute. Oh gosh, I didn't know this was here. We need to take that inside. Oh man, what the heck? I didn't know it was back here. Look at that, y'all. There right there is our honeymoon. Man, I was young right there. Can you take him to the cage, mama? Let's take him in there and let her follow us. Can y'all believe that was Brendan, who is now 28? Yeah, I gotta take this up to the house real quick. I don't wanna lose these pictures, these are important. Well, this video is going all over the place. So it was gonna be about going and trying to find our pony. But now it's going to be a puppy video, obviously. So we got to take care of these puppies. We don't actually have to do anything with these puppies. She's very capable of doing this herself. Um, we're just going to check on them, check on her, make sure everything's good. Uh, she's in this corner, far corner over here. I know, she jumped out. She climbed over, I guarantee you she did. She's looking for a, a secure place that no, nothing can, she thinks nothing can find that corner. Where's mom? Right here in this corner. Yeah, Mom's let's get these babies in the cage. I think we should leave them right there. Well, this barn is dangerous and she needs food and water. Well, we can bring her food and water. Why can't we just put her in there? So y'all, that same storm I was talking about last night, Brennan actually put Elena in this goat area. Uh, she obviously got out. I bet she jumped out right over I bet she, she either jumped over the door, cause this door we don't latch, or she got on top of this old, this uh, this duck hut we built and jumped over. 12? Looks like it. Oh my gosh. It's like Haggerty spots. Yeah, y'all just be careful. It's okay, Linda. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. This is an appropriate place for her to be, I don't believe. Take this phone and video some. I'm kind of... Oh, you got some in your hand. I'm nervous. You? I mean, I'm about to fall over. Okay. Hi, Elena. Good girl. Go, go. You want me to keep going? They're just... <coughs> you got three. Good girl. Good girl. Four, Dang, five, you got a bunch of babies. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just eleven? At least eleven, huh? Is there could be one behind her. Be what are we gonna do with all these dogs? Sell them. The Eddies just had puppies, so mm -hmm. we can't give them any. Should we go put her in the cage? Yeah, I think we need to. It's okay. So this is where Brennan put her. She was in here. This is where Brennan put her. Was this little I mean we could lock her in, but we didn't, obviously. But we just need to we're gonna keep the door. babies over here and grab Yelena and make her come over here as well. Here. Tanya has five. Flatten all that hay out. Oh, they're okay. so cute. God, they're huge. So far, it's four girls and two boys. covered up by all their their hair the older they get but they both had a lot of color when they were puppies come on elena how many more is over there 
That's it. That's it. Oh, just 10? Yep, 10. Okay, so count what you got there. Good girl. Man. Girls or boys ball? Oh, gosh. Um, a girl. Seven and two. And a girl. God, eight <laughs> girls, two boys. Wow. That's okay. Good girl, Nana. You're their mama. You have um, hey, mom. Okay. I'm gonna You she'll move put them in. You want to move them by yourself? She'll split she'll, them up. Yeah, five she'll do five. them. In, she'll do them in like order. Yeah, those okay. are supposed to be sleeping. Okay. Uh, uh, it's funny how they do that. This one has a lot of spots. Good girl. Lady. They all look like Silas in the head. They do. Yeah. Like the brown head. They do look like him. Good girl. Okay. I told you she was pregnant. Good mama. <laughs> yep, we're right again. I was wrong. Dad is not um, going to be in charge of puppies nope. anymore. Or babies. He Just doesn't any get kind it. Of baby. <laughs> so we've kind of left her alone for about 30 minutes now. She's still in there. She's doing good. Looks like she's kind of doing what uh, Aria did when Aria had four babies. She's kind of moving some out of the way. Like there's a couple there. So she'll feed some at certain times and some, you know, later. So we are going to cover this up real quick with some plywood so that she thinks she's, uh, you know, got some She's more secure. I'm pretty sure that's why she wanted to be in that corner. She felt real secure there. Nothing could see her. She was hidden. Okay, y'all. I do have a couple of pieces of plywood up. Just kind of help her out a little bit. I'll try to close that corner up here in a little bit. Oh, look at that little picture. See that little puppy right there? Oh, there's two of them there. Yeah, that one's got a lot of color. Yeah, he's pretty. He's over by himself. He or she. So we have eight girls and two boys. Good job, Elena. Maybe I should put her. Elena has a lot of hand coloring right in there. She's not just white. Hopefully your babies are getting some milk. They're sleeping good. Yeah. Okay, Elena, we're gonna leave you alone, okay? You got a bunch of pretty babies. That one's still over there asleep. You be a good mama, okay? Okay, y'all, that's gonna wrap this video up. Uh, Elena had 10 puppies. 10. Yeah. She's going to be a good mom too. I think she's going to be a pretty good mom. She wants to, she wants to protect them already. Yeah. So she's doing really well on that. We did decide to keep them where we moved them instead of letting her take them back to that corner. Uh, you could go either way with that. I know a lot of y'all are probably going to say you should have let her keep them in the corner. I wanted to. Yeah. Tanya and Brennan wants to put her in the pen. It's kind of wet, aren't I? No, I'm itchy. Um, so yeah, she, uh, it's just she, a difference of opinion on it. Yeah, it is. It could, we could go. It matters we, really either way. Yeah, we could go either way with it. The reason Tanya and Brennan wanted to move them, though, is just so that they could have easy access to help her. If they're in that corner, we're not going to have... Uh, I'll break my neck trying to get back yeah, to Yeah, I mean, we could, point. we could help them, for sure, help her. But really, it's going to be so much easier to help her right here. I did put the plywood in. Y'all saw that. 
So that will make her feel a little more secure. I think she'll be okay with that. Next, we need to put the goats up <clears throat> so they're not getting in there when we're in there. Yeah, the goats will. She's barking you know, at them. The goats have been in and out of there, so she's been barking at them. Yeah. Um, now, guys, y'all y'all realize this is a farm. We're going to assist her as much as we can, but at the same time, it's her responsibility to take care of these dogs. And she will if we just let her, but she probably will lose a couple. Okay, this is her first litter. Ten of them. Ten Maybe of them. Maybe not. Maybe she'll uh, she may do great. Be a rock star like Aria yeah, was. Yeah, she may do great. But there's a high chance that she's going to lose one or two of them. So don't get disappointed. Um, that's just the, the fact of life out here on a farm. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with these puppies yet. Sell them. I can't have them all. <laughs> Bren, Brendan does want one. Brendan wants to keep one for his farm, for his goats. Uh, other than that, though, they're all going to be for sale. Yeah. <laughs> so if y'all live in the uh, South Oklahoma area or anywhere in Oklahoma and you're willing to drive, let me know. And there is a sweet little baby at Red Dirt Boxer Rescue that yeah. I was really thinking about getting, and now we have 10 puppies, so I yeah. don't know if that's going to work out or not. Yeah, Tanya does want another boxer. She's been missing Bella lately, and ironically, this dog's name is... Bella. Bella. I and she looks name just Bell, like... Bella, B-E-L-L-E. She looks just like Bella, too, so yeah. that may work out for us, so... We'll see. Yep. All right, we'll see y'all on the next video. Remember, do the good. <laughs>